Good morning. Ms. Ava Rangin will talk about equitable and inclusive education, learning for all, NEP, 2020. Raya Frangin, sir, I have discussed mainly points number 6.6 .6 to 6.12 of equitable and inclusive education, learning for all, NEP, 2020, in my last presentation. Now we will discuss points number 6.13 to 6.20 of equitable and inclusive education, learning for all, NEP, 2020. Equitable and inclusive education, learning for all. Education is the single greatest tool for achieving social justice and equality. Inclusive and equitable education, while indeed an essential goal in its own right, is also critical to achieving an inclusive and equitable society in which every citizen has the opportunity to dream, thrive, and contribute to the nation. The education system must aim to benefit India's children so that no child loses any opportunity to learn and excel because of circumstances of birth or background. This policy reaffirms that bridging the social category gaps in access, participation, and learning outcomes in school education will continue to be one of the major goals of all education sector development programs. 6.13 Most classrooms have children with specific learning disabilities who need continuous support. Research is clear that the earlier such support begins, the better the chances of progress. Teachers must be helped to identify such learning disabilities early and plan specifically for their mitigation. Specific actions will include the use of appropriate technology allowing and enabling children to work at their own pace, with flexible curricula to leverage each child's strengths, and creating an ecosystem for appropriate assessment and certification. Assessment and certification agencies, including the proposed new National Assessment Center, PARC, will formulate guidelines and recommend appropriate tools for conducting such assessment, from the foundational stage to higher education, including for entrance exams, in order to ensure equitable access and opportunities for all students with learning disabilities. The awareness and knowledge of how to teach children with specific disabilities, including learning disabilities, will be an integral part of all teacher education programs, along with gender sensitization and sensitization towards all underrepresented groups in order to reverse their underrepresentation. Alternative forms of schools will be encouraged to preserve their traditions or alternative pedagogical styles. At the same time, they will be supported to integrate the subject and learning areas prescribed by the NCFSE into their curricula in order to reduce and eventually eliminate the underrepresentation of children from these schools in higher education. In particular, financial assistance will be provided to introduce science, mathematics, social studies, Hindi, English, state languages, or other relevant subjects in the curriculum, as may be desired by these schools. This would enable children studying in these schools to attain the learning outcomes defined for grades 1-12. Furthermore, students in such schools would be encouraged to appear for state or other board examinations and assessments by them to, and thereby enroll in higher education institutions. Capacities of teachers in the teaching of science, mathematics, language, and social studies will be developed including orientation to new pedagogical practices. Libraries and laboratories will be strengthened in adequate reading materials like books, journals, etc., and other teaching learning materials will be made available. Reduce the disparities in the educational development of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. Within SEDS, and with respect to all the above policy points, special attention will be given to reduce the disparities in the educational development of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. As a part of the efforts to enhance participation in school education, special hostels in dedicated regions, bridge courses, and financial assistance through fee waivers and scholarships will be offered to talented and meritorious students from all sides on a larger scale, especially at the secondary stage of education, to facilitate their entry into higher education. Under the aegis of the Ministry of Defense, state governments may encourage opening NCC wings in their secondary and higher secondary schools including those located in tribal-dominated areas. This will enable harnessing of the natural talent and unique potential of students, which in turn would help them to aspire to a successful career in the defense forces. All scholarships and other opportunities and schemes available to students from such as will be coordinated and announced by a single agency and website to ensure that all students are aware of and may apply in a simplified manner on such a single window system, as per eligibility, attaining full inclusion and equity for all SEDs. All the above policies and measures are absolutely critical to attaining full inclusion and equity for all SEDs, but they are not sufficient. 
What is also required is a change in school culture. All participants in the school education system, including teachers, principals, administrators, counselors, and students, will be sensitized to the requirements of all students, the notions of inclusion and equity, and the respect, dignity, and privacy of all persons. Such an educational culture will provide the best pathway to help students become empowered individuals who, in turn, will enable society to transform into one that is responsible towards its most vulnerable citizens. Inclusion and equity will become a key aspect of teacher education and training for all leadership, administrative, and other positions in schools. Efforts will be made to recruit more high-quality teachers and leaders from such in order to bring in excellent role models for all students. An inclusive school curriculum. Students will be sensitized through this new school culture, brought in by teachers, trained social workers and counselors as well as through corresponding changes to bring in an inclusive school curriculum. The school curriculum will include, early on, material on human values such as respect for all persons, empathy, tolerance, human rights, gender equality, nonviolence, global citizenship, inclusion, and equity. It would also include more detailed knowledge of various cultures, religions, languages, gender identities, etc. to sensitize and develop respect for diversity. Any biases and stereotypes in school curriculum will be removed, and more material will be included that is relevant and relatable to all communities. Thank you so much Iyer Rangin. Thank you so much Rayef Rangin sir. Resource NEP, 2020, presented by Rayef Rangin, Principal teacher trainer and CBSC resource person. For more information visit MHRT websites or visit www.rayevelt.com for more presentations, videos and articles.